In this video, I will demonstrate how to greatly reduce, if not totally eliminate, your dough from sticking in the banneton. Hi, I'm Ron and thanks for clicking on this video where I share with you the steps I take to prevent my sourdough from sticking in the banneton. Also, please take a moment to click the subscribe button as well as check out my other YouTube videos. Okay then, let's begin. Here I'm mixing sourdough beginning with water to which I will add flour, salt, and sourdough starter. I utilize 70% hydration meaning seven parts of water to each ten parts of flour by weight. One way to reduce your sourdough from sticking in the banneton is to avoid high hydration dough such as 80 percent or 90 percent hydration. These higher hydration doughs are very sticky and difficult to keep from sticking in the banneton. This is a picture of flour, water, salt, and my sourdough starter just before mixing. I use 100% bread flour in my dough. You can see my sourdough starter is considerably darker than the bread flour. This is because there is some rye flour and some whole wheat flour in my starter. The rye flour and whole wheat flour absorb more water than the bread flour. By adding some whole wheat flour and or rye flour in your dough, your sourdough will not only be more flavorful, but also less sticky in the banneton. Here I'm shaping the dough just before putting it in the banneton. I place a pinch of rice flour in the center of the banneton, then add some bread flour. I try to use the least amount of flour in the banneton as possible and still prevent the dough from sticking. When you look at my baked bread, you'll notice there's very little trace of flour on the sourdough bread. This is another angle of the same demonstration. Now into the banneton, then the fridge overnight. It's the following morning and time to bake the bread. I begin by loosening the edges of the dough. This ensures it will come out of the banneton easily. The dough is in the oven baking. Let's examine the banneton. If you look closely, 
you can see the middle of the banneton is darker than the outer edge. This is where the dough rested and left a moist, almost gummy residue. I'll leave the banneton on the kitchen counter for three or four hours until it is completely dry. Then, before putting it away, I'll scrub it vigorously to remove as much flour as possible. These are my two brushes which cost a little over three dollars each. One is used for dishes and never touches a banneton. The other is used on my bannetons and it never touches dirty dishes. Thanks again for watching and remember to check out my other YouTube videos.